Peachtree Corporation has accumulated earnings and profits of $140,000 and no current EMP for the current year, EMP being earnings and profits. On December 31st, Peachtree distributes to Grape, its sole shareholder, a parcel of land with a basis of $130,000 and a fair market value of $100,000. Grape's basis in the stock, the Peachtree Corporation stock, is $50,000. The first step is to consider the consequences to the corporation distributing property or cash. Second is to consider the consequences with respect to adjusting from step one for any gains from step one, adjusting current earnings and profits. Step three is to look at the consequences of the shareholder. Here that shareholder is going to be grape. And when we do that, we look at a a three-part waterfall. We look at the amount of the distribution, and it's going to be characterized or classified as a dividend, which is our first stop on the waterfall, to the extent of earnings and profits. Next stop on the waterfall, if we have anything left left over, is return of capital, which we focus on the basis. Here, Grape's basis is $50,000 in the stock. And then finally, the last stop on that waterfall, which is everything else, capital gain distribution. So let's go ahead and start with step one and look at the consequences with respect to the corporation here, Peachtree Corporation. So we're focusing on the corporate consequences, the corporation or corporate consequences with respect to the distributing corporation. So when you look at cash. Whenever there's a cash distribution, step one has no consequences. And the reason why is because the face value and the basis of the cash equals. However, if you're distributing property other than cash, here we have a parcel of land. We have to do the amount realized, the AR minus the adjusted basis under section 311. So amount realized under section 311, we basically, uh, the tax law says, it's as if the corporation distributee here, here Peachtree Corporation was selling that property to someone for that amount, that fair market value. Well, the fair market value of the land here is $100,000. So the amount realized, which is going to be the fair market value of that piece of property, is going to be $100,000. We subtract away from that the basis, the basis of the land in the hands of the corporation is $130,000. We have a $30,000 loss. We have a $30,000 loss, realized loss. So section 311 says that you must recognize gain with, with respect to this step, but you can never recognize loss. Therefore, the tax law takes this loss, disallows it, and the corporation recognizes zero loss. Zero loss in the transaction under section 311 of the Internal Revenue Code. So that means because there's no consequences in step one, step two, where we adjust current EMP for step one, so we adjust current EMP for number one, has no consequences because there's zero in step one, right? You can't have any consequences. You can't adjust current EMP for anything else when step one results in zero, okay? Step two is also no effect or no change. So step one, corporation has no consequences, so no gain or loss has to be recognized. Step two, no adjustment to current earnings and profits. Okay, so now we go over to step three. So in step three, we're looking at the consequences to the shareholder. The shareholder here being grape, and that's the reason why I picked the purple color. So the shareholder uh, consequences. And remember, the first part of that is to determine the amount of the distribution. So a distribution to the shareholder equals actual cash received plus the fair market value of non-cash property received minus any liabilities on that property the shareholder has to assume. Well, here there's no liabilities on the land. Um, Grape is not receiving any cash. Therefore, we use the fair market value of the land. So the distribution amount here is $100,000. Okay, we have our distribution amount. So now we go through the three-part waterfall. 
So the first stop of the waterfall is dividend. A distribution is a dividend to the extent of earnings and profits. So here, accumulated earnings and profits is $140,000 and current EMP adjusted after step two for zero is also is gonna be zero. So we have 140,000 accumulated EMP and zero current EMP. Well, here, because current EMP is zero after step two and accumulated EMP is $140,000, that means our EMP is $140,000 and we only have one distribution. So the distribution amount is 100,000. Distribution is a dividend to the extent of earnings and profits, which is 140,000. Therefore, all of the dividend is a, I'm sorry, all of the distribution, right? You gotta be careful with the wording. All the distribution is considered a dividend. All the distribution is considered a dividend. So that means that when it comes to return of capital, which I always call ROC, remember that's no tax consequences and it reduces the basis. We have no return of capital, which means that our $50,000 basis in the stock, Grapes, $50,000 basis in Peachtree Corporation stock remains $50,000 after this, um, after the consequences in this distribution. And finally, the last stop on our three-part waterfall is capital gain distribution, capital gain distribution. And the result there is also zero because again, we've used everything up in that first part, in that first part. Finally, the last thing to consider when it comes to the shareholder is what is the adjusted basis of the land that the shareholder takes? Well, under section 301D, the basis equals the fair market value, not the basis of the property, the fair market value. So therefore the basis of the land is going to be the $100,000 fair market value at the date of distribution. 